come on, better than common, 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 better than common. Uncommon. Oh, baby. <laughs> Look at that steak value. Oh my God. Your boy is doing mad science this morning and oh, have I gotten lucky. Yesterday, I had a friend that turned me on to crafting elements in our planet and a little bit about how they worked. I've been doing some videos now about our planet, about showing you what kind of elements outside of the actual game that you can stake to get more aether per hour, which can be converted to wax and all sorts of things. And I never really looked at the crafting aspect before, but Bill's fan, actually one of the, the guys from the team over at Voxies, turned me on to the crafting recipes that have stackable NFTs. And what I mean by that is, and let me show you a little bit. So I have two reads right now that are both components in a recipe for music, okay? Each of these reads cost me about 5.7 million Aether to craft. And they could have come out on the common level, which would have been much lower, but I got really lucky and got two uncommons, right? So remember that sheet that I've been showing you guys about the staking values of other games? Okay, so our planet has staking values that you can look up as well. And you can see that music, what we're trying to craft here today, is at the lowest possible Aether per hour that you'd get is if you draw a common, and it would be 1,595 Aether per hour. Now, if you look at the cost of music on the uh, on on the the actual recipes, you'll see that it's 12.76. You say, "God, that's millions." What are you crazy? Yes, technically yes, but you'll see that there's two read pipes on the way. Now, if we scroll down the read pipes you'll see that there's not all the 600 that are minted. So actually trying to craft music, which are having, which you need two of the reed pipes for, they're 5.56 million Aether. So most of that cost, guys, is already consumed by the reed pipes, which you get back in Aether, right? Because they're already been crafted. If these were at 600 mints, this would totally not be worth it. But it is because I only have a little bit of Aether left to make the full music recipe. So let's count, let's get down to the nitty gritty of it. Then we might talk some more numbers, okay? The first thing that you got to know is that we have to have enough wax to create this thing and CPU and all sorts of things. So let's just build it, right? Let's go to build music. Now, we already have the reads okay if we go to the r planet and i show you in my generator you'll see that there's two reads because when you actually mint an nft within the first 600 crafts you get both you get the nft and the actual element to use as consumable this will not consume my uh my my nfts okay they're two different things but you can only get it in the first 600 when you craft it like that so normally crafting works like this you would have to buy elements and you would have to click on all the elements that you wanted to buy. They're 10,000 a piece for basic elements. And when you craft, it crafts one and it gives it to you. Now, these have all been discovered. You don't get anything for it except the consumable stuff. And the recipes get a little bit crazy. That's why we're using this sheet because it literally takes, to, to craft music, it's literally going to have to craft all of these from basic elements all the way down until it actually gets to the end where it crafts music. When music is crafted, we'll be able to open that, uh, I guess you could say, it's almost like opening a pack and seeing if you get a common, an uncommon, a rare, an epic, or even a mythic, right? So let's go up and start crafting, and I'll show you how this works. The first thing it tells you is that uh, for the full effect, you need to auto-approve transactions and you may allow for pop-ups to block them. This this tool is very, very good. And I was nervous at first, but I'm much less nervous now now that I did the two elements. That's why I did them. I did record the footage, but I did it off camera so I could uh, I can edit if I needed to. And it's a long process. So you have to purchase the existing elements with the Aether. It says it'll cost 1.64 million Aether, right? So... We'll go to Alcor Exchange, and you'll have to exchange your wax for that. I have plenty of, uh, I have actually plenty of uh, 
wax to do this. But the first thing I want to do is claim the in-game aether that I have so that I have less to make. So I just got another aether reward not that long ago. I'll go ahead and claim and that's 44,000 more aether that I'm getting <laughs> so that I won't have to actually trade for wax, which is good because I've already spent quite a bit of wax on this and money, but yeah, it's going to pay me back in the long run. And that's, that's what I'm betting on anyway. So I need 1.64 million and I have roughly four, well, 305,000 of it just that has been accumulating since I made those reads and stuff. So I need to do about 1.1 million or something like that all right 2150 wax will give me 1.48 million so i think we'll be good with that i'm gonna go ahead and make that swap and now together i have 1.78 million which should be plenty to do what i need to do right so we'll purchase the missing element that we need and it's gonna go through these purchases every once in a while it's gonna bring up a captcha that i'll have to sign and it's going to purchase all of the elements that I need. And it's going to start crafting. Well, as soon as I say yes. It also costs a little bit in wax. This is a decimal point. So 1.484 wax. It's not that bad. <laughs> I've already spent enough wax. But there's a few things to consider that I didn't consider when I first started doing this. So it's crafting and crafting and crafting and use, using resources all this time. So if you go to Wax Cloud Wallet, sometimes it kind of freaks out on my dashboard here. I'm just going to refresh and I'll show you. Uh, if you go to, not receive, if you go to resources, you'll see that your CPU gets used for this and quite heavily. So I'm already at 74% CPU. I'm just going to go ahead and stake another 50 wax to make sure that this goes through. I already have so much wax staked too, man. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, we're crafting. And let's see, did it stop? So when it stops like that, you just need to restart it. Sometimes it's not perfect, but it does remember where you left off and keeps crafting from there. You see, you'll get an error like assertion failure or whatever. If you'd ran out of CPU, it would kind of do the same thing. If there was a capture that came up and you were AFK and it timed out, you'd need to do the same thing. So it's going to continue crafting like this until it goes all the way down and we get to music. We're getting pretty close to the end here, and you can see that if these were all manual crafts, guys, can you imagine keeping track of this in the Element Crafter through the game interface? <laughs> it would be crazy. These links, by the way, and all my other links, like my Discord, where I, I hung out with the guys last night and made one of the reads, as well as all of the, the tool links that I mentioned here today are going to be in the description, okay? We've got one more wave, one more sound and music oh oh my god did it stop <laughs> did it stop what am i missing oh it just it just kind of stopped i was about to say don't you do this to me game okay guys we crafted it so let's uh let's take a look at it right if you go to your inventory you see that there is a music token and it says unpack, right? <laughs> this is the moment we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. If this comes out as even a common, my ROI is already really, really good because I got those two uncommon reads. But if it comes out as anything else, oh, we got a common. Well, hey, I got two uncommon reads and a common music, which is still a very, very good Aether value. So... Let's go to our planet. We'll check out the info, the unstake. That's $15.95. We'll go ahead and stake that. And now my total Aether per hour is 7,111. So if I would have gotten all commons, you guys, you can't really see now. If I would have gotten all commons, it would have given me roughly 3,000 Aether per hour. If, if With just those three elements that I crafted, right? which the cost of it was about 16,600 wax altogether worth in Aether. That would have given me an ROI of 145 days. Granted, that's that's a pretty long time compared to the, some of the stuff that I was going over yesterday, which was around 90, well, 90 days or less. I think that this is pretty long, but it's kind of, it's not guaranteed, but it's you're getting Aether per hour. So, as long as you're willing to wait, you'll eventually get your return back. Not investment advice, but that's the way I see it at least, okay? So 
because I got a little bit more than that, my two that was supposed to give me only 1400 actually give me about 2000. So if I was to brought to bring this number up to 4000, let's say, I would only get 109 days to ROI, which is much better. Instead, though, I ended up getting two uncommons and music, which is essentially what? About 5,700, actually. So that's 76 days. <laughs> so it's pretty good. It's a lot better than the 90 days that I was normally getting. And I have music. After all of it's said and done, I have a very expensive element that may be crafted into something else. All in all right now, though, my total is 7,111 Aether per hour. That's roughly 170,000 Aether per day. And if I plug that into the values that we have with wax, it's like 241 wax a day. <laughs> 241 wax per day, ladies and gentlemen, is $37.61 USD right now. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, the prices could be a lot better on Aether. With some of the game updates that are coming, I expect the price to go much, much higher. And $37 a day is more than I'm making with my Ethereum mining rig. <laughs> Honestly, especially now that the price of Ethereum has dropped. But I, I mean, I spent $900 on a video card to mine Ethereum for me and I make more now. Granted, I did spend more on this, but it's a digital asset. It doesn't, there's no wear and tear. It doesn't produce heat. It doesn't take electricity. It just generates every single day. Oh man, I'm so excited about this. I hope you guys are too. Listen, all of my links are gonna be in the description for the tools that I use today. If you end up wanting to craft this, there's still some mints left at the time of this video, but it was just to give you an idea of how it works. Come talk to us in the Discord about it, as well as all other sorts of blockchain games and topics. I'd love to see you around. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Zuljan signing off. We'll see you next time.